Welcome to the third episode of the Group Iron Man series. My name's Alonscape, and we are going to start this video off by completing Biohazard, which is a pretty easy quest, but after this, we are getting into the Underground Pass, and 31 agility doing that quest is going to be quite something, but 1.2k theming experience and also three quest points, so let's get into Underground Pass, and let's see how long this is actually going to take. I'll time the quest and uh, I will probably fail like 20 times on the agility course. Had to AFK some rock crabs for 25 ranged as well. That is a requirement for the quest. So just bang that out real quick. I should probably have brought magic. This is probably one of the most time consuming things about this. I have to flinch this with a rune sword and it has very high melee defense actually. I have to kill three different types of mobs. And uh, I miss probably like 90% of the time, so this will take a while. At least I can save spot these demons and they don't actually have very high defense. I only have, of course, 25 ranged, like iron arrows and an oak short bow, but I do hit fairly consistently on them. As you can see, I'm getting decent hits. And I think 400 arrows should be enough to kill both of them. I realized I do want to do regicide after the underground pass. And you actually need 56 agility for that. And I was failing the uh, jumping on the underground pass like crazy. So I actually just decided to go and grind out 56 agility. Which is going to take a long time of course. But look at the time. It took me 2 hours to get pretty much like 75% through the quest. But I still have a lot of the jumping to do. And so it feels like kind of dumb to maybe go and do the underground pass spend like an hour failing the jumps and then i could have just got 56 agility that i need for the next quest anyways as i need to train some agility i thought i might as well complete the taurus trap it gives a good amount of agility experience and i also did the knight sword for that so 29 smithing from one and agility 6 point or 4.6k for 36 and then another one as well which gives 38. So I just have to do 38 to 40 on the Varro course and then I can go to Canafis. If you're wondering why I have the Arty Cloak on, well, I did a quick detour, did the Rune Mysteries, took like one minute with the items that we have in the bank, could just teleport back and forth and everything. And uh, I put the XP Lamp actually on Agility for 2.5k experience. It turns out I wanted to put it on Herb Lord, but you need level 30 to be able to even do that. But uh, I've soon done a 100 laps of the Canafis course and... I have to say, this is so boring. It is uh, unreal, and I, I want to show you guys something. Look at this. Dark World Order did 724 laps for full graceful at this exact course. And uh, I'm complaining at 100. After doing agility for a quite a while, I got to 52, 2 hours and 21 minutes to complete the underground pass. I went back to just uh, quickly complete it as a break. It also gives some agility experience, 3k and 3k attack, 5 whole quest points, and I just need to get that 56 agility now, and then I can do both regicide and roving elves. And actually the main reason why I want to do all these quests is because my plan is to go for Solra. I know it's uh, quite a hefty goal because it is kind of a late game boss, I guess, but uh, I think with Iban's Blast and with maybe a Rune Crossbow and the Crystal Shield from Roving Elves, I should be able to do it if I get some decent combat stats. Really closing in on that 56, and this has taken quite a while, but for the Regicide quest, I will actually need a few items, so you can see on the right side here, I need the 56 agility of course, which I will get in just a bit, and then I need two ropes, I can just buy that, the Limestone I also have from Wintertod, so that's a good thing, Strip of Cloth is just four balls of wool that you uh, spin basically, also very easy and then uh, I need 20 coal I have the mine level for that so might as well just go and get that after the uh, 56 agility and then I need one cooked rabbit but anyways here we are done at 56 agility finally done with this grind it feels very good and it's nice to have high agility anyways for future questing and run energy and in total I ended with 133 marks of grace and I decided to buy the chest, helmet and the cape because that way I only end on 3 left and I get some expensive pieces out of it as well and I still have 3 items bought. I have to say, this arrow is pretty lit. I made the mistake of bringing the Barrel of Nafta as well, which I just need for the next quest or another quest I'm going to do Morning Sand Part 1, but they are super heavy. And uh, falling down here is, oh my god, it's such a time sink. And I don't even have that much food left. Oh my god. 
Finally, I can complete the uh, Regicide quest. Actually, a lot of agility experience as well and some coins. It took me almost exactly one and a half hour. But now I can actually just use a charter ship to get to the... Um, the Tyron area, which is very nice. I don't have to go through the underground pass anymore. And I should almost be, yeah, 5k of 57. So nice. I can just go to a charter ship, pay some money, 3.2k, and I can get to Port Tyrus. And that actually means I technically can do Solra now. Not 100% sure where you go for that, but uh, yeah, you only need to be able to, I think it's out here actually, to do Regicide to be able to get to Solra, but obviously I don't have the stats for it yet. I have to kill the Moss Guardian from the Waterfall quest without any equipment, and it has 120 HP, it's level 84, and I have 44 attack, 32 strength, and these mobs actually aggro me pretty frequently, I think this one is tagged on me as well. But uh, yeah, it's going to take a while. I think I've been doing this for like 10 minutes now and it's lost, yeah, not a much HP. Finally, there we go. That took me about 26 minutes of flinching, but that is the concentration seed. And uh, now I've basically completed the quest because the rest is super easy. And now I just have to plant this seed anywhere in this room. So I guess I can just click it and that should be that. And when it's done, all I have to do is I have to go back to where I started the quest and it is going to be completed. I'm actually going to go for the crystal shield from this quest because I am going to use the rune crossbow and crystal shield as my weapon setup for Solra. I obviously need 70 defense and uh, I will need a decent range level to kill Solra as well. So it is going to be the combat grind upcoming next and uh, let's just take the shield. They are actually automatically imbued but the first time you repair them they cost a lot but then it goes down more and more gradually. I think the first repair is like 750k and it goes down to 100 and 50k eventually. So what really is the goal now? Well, it is pretty much to just get my combat up as much as possible on the magic and range fronts and I also have to get some prayer- ooh, beginner clue. I have to get some prayer up as well because I need the protection prayers for Solra. I think my goal should be 45 prayers. I have both the mystic might and the eagle eye. But uh, I also need the backpack from man animal magnetism so I don't waste like a bunch of bolts when I'm going for like 70 plus ranged. I think 70 plus ranged and like 70 magic around that area should be good enough and 70 defense with 45 prayer to do solra so that is pretty much the goals right now and for animal magnetism i need a mithril axe and some polished buttons so a friend actually got them for me very nice so thank you so much for that 50 quest points and animal magnetism completed for some nice experience as well as of course the avas attractor which i'm going to disable the auto pickup thingy so i don't get a bunch of arrows that i don't want 17 fletching as well, pretty nice, but uh, that is the backpack achieved, so I will save a lot of bolts now. Need to do the dig site quest, so uh, Grace Cat 2 aka Max Nick is giving me some herb lore supplies so I can get that 10 which is the requirement for it. And I am doing dig site because I want to do bone voyage afterwards which I have to get some requirements for as well but uh, that is the requirement to get to ammonite crabs which are very very afk ranged or any combat training method really. They have 100 hp and just one in every combat stat so you hit very consistently on them and and they also have a very high HP. Finally, this quest is pretty boring, but uh, it went by okay. And the experience you get is actually pretty nice. 15k mining, 2 gold bars, and 2k herb lore. That 2k herb lore is actually how many levels? That was, by the way, 4 mining. And then 7 herb lore levels. And now I only need to do bone voyage. But I think the requirements for that is actually... I I'm not sure, but I do know I have to get some uh, kudos in the Varrock... Uh, museum so let's actually take a look so I need to get 100 kudos and that's actually it the other things are pretty easy it is going to take a while for me to get to 100 kudos I can get to 98 by just uh, basically cleaning these unclean finds but then for the last two I'm not really sure exactly how to do it also the bone voyage quest takes a bit and then after that all I'm re really going to do is just afk ammonite crabs for a very long time and maybe do some blue dragons as well for prayer experience but that's about it so I'm going to end the video here hope you guys did enjoy it if you did leave a like subscribe if you want to see future content and click any of the videos on the screen right now if you want to see a video right away have a good one take care